Hey, okay, so I'm back and I figure since I need to have some filler footage and why not give you a vlog because I am not sure what's going on with this Jamaica vlog, but I swear it's 40 minutes and I do not want to have to do it all over again, but it feels like that's what I might have to do if I can't figure it out. But I just wanted to come in and give y'all a little bit of filler information. So pretty soon coming up, I will be showing y'all the, the process of us getting the pool renovated because we have found a leak. And last year we were unable to use the pool at all because every time we would fill it up, it would just drain back out because of their leak some, that was somewhere. So this year, the pool is completely empty right now. And we have somebody coming out on Monday to take a look at it and see what we need. We know we're gonna need a new liner, but we're not sure what else we're gonna need. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me there. That'll be a vlog. Um, what else? There is, I am going to Juneteenth with, uh, I believe it is, um, I believe it is a Global Speakers University event, Juneteenth with Dr. Cheryl Wood, who is my speaker development coach, and she is hosting a Juneteenth event where there should be some awards given out and my sissy's supposed to go with me. It's supposed to be like something for us to get out. And that's what I've noticed I've been doing a lot more of is actually trying to get myself out of the house as well as nation out of the house since my top pop, my dad, my grandfather, all of the things that he was to me because really that's all that matters is what he was to me and what I was to him in the end. And I've just, it's been about six weeks. So that's what we're doing. We've been just trying to get out and stay happy. And, mm. and I have a little, a little special little, get out of here. Give me, let me be little snidbit. Um, I, I got for Mother's Day. Curtis sent me Curtis is my son who if you go back into May of 2019 I think 2018 or 2019 we took a family trip to Texas because he graduated from the Air Force he spent his four years into in the Air Force he came home um, March of 2023 and then he went to start his journey in California at uh, San Francisco State University in I believe he left in like August of 2023 so he's been there but my bud Curtis he had um, a speech that he had to give on um, a, an award that he was presenting and he presented his award to me and he did a little practice video and he sent it to me on Mother's Day. So he let me, I, I got permission to share it with you all because I just, I just, it makes me just know how good of a mom I've been by how lovingly and well my children treat me and, and just the things that they say about me even though sometimes I feel as though I'm not the best mom in the world. But the things that they do just show me that I was the best mom for them and I did good by them because I did break curses and didn't do the traditional things that parents do to my kids. And I still don't do the traditional things that parents do to their kids. But I've been rambling for five minutes. I'm just sitting in my driveway I have not been working out. What do you guys want to see? What kind of vlogs do you guys want to see other than the vlogs, suggestions, and things that I have in my my banner that say what I'm going to do other than hearing about my air method, even though every day of life, I've been adjusting to things. I've been doing the inner work to things to stay because sometimes people try to make you come out of the person that you that you are because of the 
the ungrowth that they are doing. But I digress and I'll see you guys. I hope y'all like this content. Let me know. Let me know. And cleaning, as far as cleaning, I do some cleaning and I have some videos. Uh, well, some some little vlogs that I have to still put together. So look out, just look out for those. But every week I've been posting, whether it be on a Wednesday. So I see y'all. Hi all, I'm Curtis. Today I'm proudly presenting the award for the world's greatest mom. This award typically goes to an exceptionally outstanding mother demonstrating exemplary strength, resilience, and compassion. To a mother capable of showing unparalleled amounts of patience. To a mother who embodies what true unconditional love might look like. To a mother I've witnessed firsthand wake up at 4.30 every single day and dress and bathe my youngest brother with cerebral palsy and epilepsy for 21 years and counting. To a mother who didn't stop even when she noticed a lump on her chest and the same mother who defiantly lost a considerable amount of weight just so the doctors could accurately identify that said lump was indeed a tumor. To the only mother I know capable of balancing caregiver and chemotherapy. To a mother who beat cancer. To a mother of four boys, bless her heart, who constantly reminds us that we're capable of anything and always encourages us to chase our dreams and never stop believing in us. To a mother who believes in leading by example and I'm sure will never stop chasing her own. To the woman I've seen at some of her lowest points and still she always found a way to get us everything we needed. This woman who constantly sacrificed her own well-being and sometimes an emotionally abusive relationship just for our sakes. To my mother, the woman whose first response when called into the principal's office after I had been arguing with the teacher was, no, no, what did she say to him first? Or a separate time when I almost got four detentions and an ISS for something that apparently happened on a field trip and I refused to sign because the teacher had obviously had me confused with someone else. And she instantly took my side, defended me, and knew I wasn't lying. In the end, thanks to her, after both those instances, I only ended up serving one detention, and that was for arguing with the principal. Thanks for always believing in me, Mom. To my mother, who I'd do anything for and will dedicate everything to. To the mother I hope to one day give the world. To the greatest mom in the world. To Angela Sharice Williams. I love you and congratulations. I hope to continue to make you proud. Your son, Curtis. Hey y'all, what it do, what it do? It's me and the nation. Hey. We are going to the movies. We are getting out on this sunny day. We're going to go see Bad Boys. Ride or die, I think that's what it's called. We're going out for a family movie day. One didn't want to go because he's really not into that movie thing. So it's going to be me, Kai, which is the oldest brother and the youngest brother. All right. We'll see ya. See ya. Hey, y'all. Okay, so we are back to the house. Before we unload and do all the things we got to do to get ourselves in the house, we're going to tell y'all. I don't know if y'all can hear the birds, but they loud out there. They loud. So we're going to tell y'all what we thought of the movie. Okay, so for me, I loved it. And this is actually the second time that I'm going to see it. And I will go and see it, and I will get it when it comes out, because that's how much I thought. It was very, very funny. It was a good, like, last chapter to the Bad Boys trilogy saga the little their whole thing it was really it was really good it was so so funny what about you nation what did you think i i, I loved it i i thought it was really funny yeah what about the what about well we don't want to give the movie away but yeah. the action scenes were good the yeah. jokes were good. The storyline was good. I thought it was a a different a different take yeah. for the bad boys, but it was good. Yeah. So that is one of the movies we got to see. We also went to see the new Planet of the Apes movie. Now, what did you think about that one? I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. That one was intense for me. 
like I only saw maybe the first one, maybe the sec some of the second one. I ain't watched none after that, so I don't know how what number they were on, but it was a, a family movie, so I just went. I liked it. It was just very intense and yeah. We don't know what we have on the agenda next, but it'll be something. Well, Saturday, we are going to have um, brunch with some family members uh, um, and his mom, um, Trudy, my mother-in-law, and uh, my sister-in-law and her husband. So that's on Saturday. And then, of course, Father's Day is on Sunday. But hush, hush. Do you know what we got, Daddy? And a whole bunch of stuff that he can be chef chefing up. Because I know he ain't going to watch this video. And I'm going to put it up today. On my YouTube page. And let's see if he if he gets up. So <clears throat> Wednesday y'all going to get an actual. You're getting a vlog of the day of the vlog. Because I'm having trouble <clears throat> uh, editing my Jamaica vlog. So it's done. It's just I'm having trouble editing. What would you say? It means that y'all subscribe to my channel. Yes, please subscribe to Nation So Cool. If you go to that section of my YouTube page where you can put your the subscriptions you follow, that's where it is. But it's Nation So Cool. N A apostrophe capital S I O N So Cool. And you'll find him. Go subscribe. And of course, subscribe to my channel like the videos comment okay comment watch the videos all the way through and i, I see how um kiara life with kiara is saying telling people to uh comment certain emojis that if they watch the whole video and um yeah i used to do that in my videos so it just goes to wonder is anybody else watching my videos because y'all don't be saying nothing down. Okay, we got to go because we're supposed to be under four, five minutes and we're working on it. Would you guys say anything else to the people? Go con go subscribe to his channel. And his, his Instagram channel is Nation So Cool also. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right, y'all. You guys say anything else? Yeah. All right. Hey, y'all. I'm back. All right. I threw this clip in there because I got this awesome awesome bracelet from my oldest Kai it is one of those ones where you can put the little teeny picture inside of it that's what I was showing you the information about who the company is and this is the charm the custom photo charm there is a little photo in there that you can see if you hold it up and you get <laughs> And you can put it on um, a bracelet. I believe you can put it on a necklace. And I, right now, you can see me trying to see it. <laughs> I was just so excited about it. I thought that was just, I was looking at those for like a long time on Facebook. Here's the Infinity Charm. It came with a couple different charms that he brought for me. But here's the Infinity, the Infinity Charm. There is my grandfather, my Top Pop's birthstone, and then there are some angel wings. And I was just so, so happy to put them on my charm, well, my bracelet. So this is the little bracelet that they come on, and they all just go neatly around however you want to put them on. And of course, because my favorite number is number four, I put them four spaces apart from each other and they all fit on the bracelet lovely. Here is the finished product after I put them all on. I am so excited to wear it. Mind you, you are not supposed to put lotion on around these or get them soaking wet and stuff. So that is one little tidbit, but here is my beautiful bracelet from my oldest son, Kai. He is such a great, great guy. And coming up, I'm going to show you the actual picture. Here it is. That is my mom and my dad, my grandfather. And here is Glass. Thanks for watching.